Well, well, well. How's it going, everybody? Ooh. Fix my little screen here. Ooh. All right. Sorry, my camera fell down. How's it going, everybody? Nice to see you all. Uh, I love to start this all by just uh, letting me know where you are, uh, where you're from in the chat. So just let me know what country you're from, maybe your name and your country. Let me just fix my camera here. It dropped it earlier, so it's a little fucked up. Whoop. All right, I think we're good. Wait. All right, professional. Nice and professional, just, so, just like we like it. What's up, Big Afarza? Hey, man. <laughs> uh, India, Morocco. Ooh, Riyadh. I've been to uh, Riyadh. Pittsburgh, Utah, Thailand. I've never, I've never been to Thailand. Heard great things. Heard the best of things about Thailand. India, you know, we, we love India. I'm, uh, I'm from Pakistan originally. Came to America when I was a little kid. Bangladesh, nice. Istanbul, dude, all, all, all the people, all the types of people from all over the world here. You love to see it. Um, Amir from Iran, ooh, Iran. Iranian food is freaking good. Oh, look at this. I'm covering my. I'm covering the chat right now. Let me move this camera. One sec. Whoop. Now I'm not. Oh, now I'm covering it that way. This is getting weird. It doesn't matter. This is a professional. This is a high high production professional experience built for you all. Thank you everybody for for showing up here. I know th there's there are some crazy time zones here right now. Like Romania. Like what time is it even in Romania? Let me even, let me just look this up. Romania time. Oh, shit, it's like 7 p.m. Yo, but thank you for spending your Saturday at 7 p.m. or whatever time it is for you uh, with us today. It means a lot, seriously. Bay Area, very nice. Yo, if you're in San Francisco, by the way, if anybody's in San Francisco, uh, come on by. Come, uh, come, come hang out. I'm in, uh, I'm in San Francisco. All right, so let's get started here. This is only going to be about uh, probably 30 to 40 minutes max, I'd say. Um, but real quick, who am I? Uh, my name is Farza. I am the founder of BuildSpace. Um, I'll kind of get into more about my history later on, but uh, founder of BuildSpace, went through uh, Y Combinator, been building things for like 13 years now, started my first company at 13, and uh, have just been, have just made a lot of things in my life. And I'll get, I'll get more into that uh, later on, but for now, all you, all you really got to know is my name is Farza. I'm the guy who made build who, who essentially now helped make build space because now the team is getting a lot larger it's no longer just me um and uh, and yeah uh we are pretty excited to have you all here and you may be asking yourself you may be asking yourself the question what is build space i'm glad you asked friends i'm really glad you asked um so most of you all have probably most of you all let me just move move stuff on my screen here one sec most of you all probably already uh made an account and signed up for a project, correct? Um, otherwise, you probably wouldn't be here. But let me just move this, move this thing to my screen. Uh, but if you check this out, you all probably have already, you all have probably are already seen this screen and signed up for a project. By the way, if you already signed up for a project, let me know what, uh, what project you signed up for, uh, what the name was. But yeah, pretty much how BuildSpace works is we are a place for people to build, become builders in Web3. Um, I think there's a big difference between learning and creating and actually building things. Um, if you want to learn stuff, I don't think build space is exactly the place for you. Like if you want to learn stuff, right, you should probably go take like a Udemy course or something or like a 20-hour Stanford course. I don't know. But if you want to build some stuff, if you want to create things and you want to learn along the way, um, I think build space is for you. So if you're more the type of person that likes to learn things by actually getting your hands dirty, build space is most definitely the place for you. Uh, but if you want, if you're more of like a watching lectures learner type, like you like, like you like the act of learning, then uh, I don't know, you may not like build space. Um, but yeah, that's sort of a, um, where build space is kind of rooted. Um, and the reason we made this is because we, I, I personally hate it. I hate it. I, I hate watching like these 40 to 60 hour courses on like these random websites made by these random YouTubers, these random creators that never really even teach you much. And by the time you're, you're done with them, you're just kind of sad and you're just not even that happy with yourself, you know? Um, so with BuildSpace, we wanted to kind of get to the magic immediately. And even, even when I first learned to code, right? Like 
I didn't learn to code by reading a book. You know, I learned to code by building a website, right? So I don't know. That's just a, the built place is built with a philosophy that you have to, you should build things. I don't know. Press one if you kind of agree with that philosophy. Press two if you don't. It's cool if you don't. If you don't, then you, you just won't like BuildSpace, and that's totally fine. There's many alternatives. There are many places to learn in the world. Do you use third web in the industry? In the industry. What industry are we talking about? Crypto? I guess so, yeah. We just use whatever tool works. I like BuildSpace, but learning the basics is important too. I mean... Yeah, I guess, whatever. If you want to learn the basics, just like, let me just, you can just type in like, solidity basics. And just like, go through this shit yourself, you know? Like, you don't need anyone to hold your hand, right? Um, but anyways, this is more just like a personal philosophy. <laughs> um, but yeah, totally. Um, do we need basic blockchain knowledge? I mean, you really don't. All you really do is you need to just start building. So I would, I would go here and click this one and just, just start making some stuff. Uh, but that's build space in, in a nutshell. Um, and uh, what is this kickoff, by the way? Uh, this kickoff, by the way, has no live coding. Um, I don't really believe in live coding uh, much. Uh, this kickoff is really just a place for us all to come together in one spot. Looks like there's like over 100 of us here. That's pretty awesome. Over 100 of, of us here that are all kind of going to be building something this weekend. And it's a time for you all to come together and for me to kind of tell you and give you a little bit of a, a little bit of direction. So in this uh, live kickoff, I'll also be giving you um, a little talk about building things and like my experience building things for like the last 13 years. And I don't want to call it advice, but it's more like I want to tell you about my experience building things, what worked for me, what didn't. And from there, I, my hope is to kind of get you a little bit excited and then you can go off and build some great things by yourself this weekend. I'm building the DAO, and I like Third Web, but I wonder if it's. I'll, I'll answer that question later. But if you have any questions, by the way, I will. Um, I will most. I'm, I'm going to save the last 15 minutes for questions. I'll still be reading the chat, by the way. I have this chat right in front of me, so I'll read it here and there. But for most questions, uh, just save them to the end if you really want to. Uh, there's a higher chance I'll, I'll notice them at the end too. Um, so, by the way, how does BuildSpace work? Well, first of all, you pick a project, right? That's pretty easy. But the next thing you want to do is you really, 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 it's very important, you got to make sure that you connect your Discord. Um, the reason this is important is because when you connect your Discord, you'll get access to special channels that, uh, that essentially, um, you'll get access to special channels that essentially uh, have, uh, it's essentially where you can ask questions and like communicate with your fellow build spacers. So for example, here, I'm going to go right here. This is a uh, intro to Ethereum permanent. So if you sign up for the intro to Solidity project, you'll have access to this channel. So I'm just gonna go here and type in hello. Um, and maybe I'll post a GIF. And you all can do the same too right now. So your channel will look different from mine. It depends on the project you signed up for. But I'm just gonna sign up for, uh, I'm just gonna post this GIF. So if you sign up for the intro to Solidity project, you know, head over to general chit chat and just post, post, post a GIF. You know, just so you know where this thing is. And um, the reason, uh, and you, you all can just do that right now really quick. Uh, I, I recommend you do this just because, like, you can make sure your Discord is set up properly. Um, but whatever, whatever project you sign up for, you'll have, a pro you'll have a channel called General Chit Chat. This person just said test. Um, so go ahead and just uh, po post a GIF there for funsies. And the reason this is really important, by the way, um, <laughs> good night, sleep well. The reason this is really important, <laughs> what is that? What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, these <laughs> Why is a cat laying down like that? All right, I got to stop looking at this. The reason this is important is because um is because um you'll have access to one. Uh, is it, one is just really exciting, you know? It's really exciting to see all these people in one spot building things together, right? So, yes, you are alone at your house probably just making stuff. But now at least you have the feeling that you are creating things with other people. Um, and then two, you, you'll have access to the, the teaching assistants. So if you go here uh, and I tap in uh, teaching assistant. Uh, so pretty much only use this when you need help, by the way. But you can add the build space teaching assistants if you need help with stuff. Um, and um, yeah, they're amazing. So just make sure whenever you ask them a question or if you, if you get stuck on anything, you can, just, you can just hit them up. They're a fantastic team. Um, 
And uh, also, by the way, you get to sh see like what other people are up to, right? So like, this is hashtag progress. Like you can literally see people like live making progress. It's pretty fucking cool. Look at this. Like you got I am Dev right here making his first contract. You got Blue CCO, you know, deploying his first contract, deploying their first contract. Sorry. And you know, you got this person. I don't know, doing some shit. It's cool to see, right? It keeps you excited. It keeps you kind of. It keeps me at least pretty motivated. Um, uh, I don't know. So that's that. And last but not least, once you complete your project, you will be able to have a very, you, we will airdrop you a fancy NFT. So this is, this is one of the NFTs that we send. So every NFT is different, by the way. It depends on the project you're doing. But this is the NFT for the uh, Polygon project. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, send this to your wallet for free. Uh, we'll pay the gas fee for it as well. Um, so I'm going to press one. I'm going to rate this NFT out of 10. I want to know what you all think. Is this cool? Is this whack? But anyways, that's the there every NFT is different. Um, and these NFTs are really cool, by the way, because they'll actually show up on your build space profile. And uh, at build space, you will also we also get you access to jobs. Um, so you'll be able so a lot of the companies that we work with actually recognize these NFTs. Kind of like yeah, uh, you know you graduate from Stanford or something and you get a degree. Very similarly, um, you can graduate from build space and actually, uh, have your certificates mean something. So like, I don't know, we even have Uniswap in here. Like companies like Uniswap, like we, all these companies uh, recognize the build space NFTs, which is pretty awesome, right? Uh, Ghost, Uniswap Labs, Polygon. Ah, it's pretty crazy. Like the list just you know, keeps on going. The, the opportunities in this space are absolutely endless. Damn, someone rated the NFT a four? Zero one X Loki? Yo, zero one X Loki, how can I, how can I make this better, bro? I'm sorry. Anyways, it kind of keeps on going. It's pretty cool, right? All right. So that's that. You're interviewing for Uniswap. Very nice. Okay, so that's build space. Um, any, I'm going I'm to stop for a second. Any questions there on anything? Otherwise, I'm going to go on to this little talk I like to give um, about, um, about building stuff. It'll probably be like 10 to 15 minutes or 15, 10, 15 to 20 minutes max. Is that a Phil's coffee? Yes, it is. I'm drinking a chai, though. It's a chai from a coffee shop. So, Is that a Phil's coffee? <laughs> God, I miss their mint latte. It's their mint latte is straight sugar. All right. Um, and by the way, if you're hanging out here, you know, uh, maybe just tell the world that you're uh, getting into, you're learning about Web3 with Build Space. And maybe you uh, throw it. An at underscore build space. Maybe just tag us, you know? I don't know. It's up to you. But I think a lot of people in this space are kind of scared to get into it um, or kind of spooked by it or like they're not sure. And I don't know. Say, doing something as like a, um, like telling the world that you want to. Oh, by the way, we have this meme at build space. It's called GTFOL. Does anybody know what that means? GTFOL. <laughs> let, me find, let me find the original tweet that we made for it. This guy right here, GTFOL. Does anybody know what GTFOL means? <laughs> yes, <laughs> NDDOZ. Thank you for subscribing, by the way. It means get the fuck off localhost. So build space is all about getting the fuck off localhost. Um, if you're working on localhost, it's not real. Um, so our whole thing is we want you to get the fuck off localhost. Um, today, I will GTFOL <laughs> at underscore build space and then uh, maybe we can throw maybe maybe you can throw a nice emoji in there but i don't know you can tell the world that you're about to get the fuck off local host this weekend uh and tag us if you want but anyways that's that and now i want to kind of just go on and go into this talk now uh by the way are you guys cool with this like press one if you kind of want to hear this talk about my experiences building stuff i don't know how much you guys actually give a shit um, about what I think, but uh, I have I have some opinions. Uh, I'm not gonna give you advice. I don't believe in anybody giving me advice. I don't I don't listen to any advice myself. So why would I give advice? <laughs> but uh, this is more. I just want to tell you about my experience. Uh, that that's all. All right, got some ones. I like it. I like it. It was kind of a trick question, by the way. I was gonna do it anyways, even if everybody said no. I was still gonna do it. Jokes on you all. <laughs> Oh shit, I dropped, dropped like half my tea just now, by the way. It's all over my keyboard. Don't panic. I have no napkins. 
I think we're just going to deal with it. And that's disgusting. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, as you, as you all already uh, heard earlier, uh, my name's Farza, um, founder at BuildSpace, backed by YCA16Z. Um, we're doing some good revenue. Um, and a little bit about me, by the way. I started my first company at 13, got up to about 100,000 in revenue by 15. Um, after that, I worked on making short films. So I spent a lot of time working uh, with different YouTubers on making like action films. Um, after that, I worked on self-driving cars uh, a lot. I've, after that, I started like, getting bored of self-driving cars and research. I thought I wanted to get my PhD, but it was, I did not. And uh, I started working on these random products. And I built, random, I built some random products for gamers uh, that all got like decently big. After that, I worked at CT, I was a CTO at Kanga, which uh, was acquired by Riot Games, which is the company that made League of Legends. And after that, um, I worked, uh, or rather before that, I worked as a deep learning engineer at Mayhem, which got acquired by Niantic, which uh, made Pokemon Go. Um, and yeah, that's kind of like my history. And uh, all, all this to say, disclaimer, I'm still learning. I know this may seem interesting or this may seem like somewhat, I don't know, impressive. I don't know. But just all I'm saying is don't actually trust me. Uh, uh, kind of take, take what I'm saying, but don't necessarily fully trust me, you know? Uh, that's, all, that's all I want to say to you. Don't take what I'm saying as gospel. Um, so I want to start with the very first kind of like point I, I want to make here. Um, oh, by the way, I see some questions here in the chat. Like, did you have a mentor? What about your experience in YC? I, I can kind of save these questions for the end, you know? Um, but, and I'm happy to answer them, by the way. So, very first thing I want to, I want to talk about here is uh, we're all here today, and you all are getting into Web3, and you're building, you want to build something in Web3. And uh, you don't really know what you want to build, but, you know, you're here at BuildSpace. You know, they have these things called projects. It's kind of cool. So, you're going to go, and you're going to go, you're going to go, and you're going to build something interesting in Web3. Um, and you're going to start with something basic, right? And it's very important for you all to understand that when you're getting into a new space, when you're getting into a new idea or just a new technology, whatever it is, um, if you want to make, if you want to build something, people think that in order for me, in order for you to build something, you need to actually have an idea. Like, oh no, I can't go and build a website or build my own website because I don't have an idea. Therefore, I will go and spend hours, weeks, and months learning how to build websites instead. And I'm telling you, this is like a trap that I found for myself. It's not intuitive, but the best way to come up with ideas is to actually just make something really fast or, you know, in a small amount of time that you think is really cool and show it to your friends. And then from there, iterate. Um, don't do this thing where you think that you need an idea in order to actually make something. Like, I remember I was reading about the guy who made Star Wars, George Lucas. This guy just started with the shittiest, like, space, like, character ideas, showed it to his friends, and then iterated for, like, over four years on the Star Wars script, the original Star Wars script. And, you know, there's many examples like this, but all to say, you know, don't feel like, you, don't, don't think you need an idea. Um, uh, don't think you need to have some genius idea. Just fucking, just go and start, please, for the love of God. Go start, get the fuck off localhost, and then send people at build space, like literally send me the link to stuff that you built um, or send your fellow build space. Just send the people in this chat the link to things that you made. Um, that's, that's true progress. Um, next thing, starting from zero. Uh, so I think, uh, I think what separates fantastic builders from just like normal ones is... Uh, Sorry, not fantastic builders. That's the wrong thing to say. More like the builders that really make progress are the ones that are really, really uh, good at starting from zero. And starting from zero means that, you know, maybe you want to build something, but you don't know the technology, right? So, you, for example, maybe you're someone who's starting, a lot of you are starting from zero in Web3. Um, or maybe you're starting from zero in terms of you have no idea what you want to work on. Maybe you're starting from zero in terms of like, you know, I kind of like music. Maybe I want to make music. The thing is like, it's all the same. Once you actually get comfortable with starting from nothing and once you're okay with being stupid, you're, you can do anything, you know, like nothing becomes off limits. Then one day, if you want to go and make a restaurant or if you want to go like 
be a rapper. Like, it doesn't matter, right? At the end of the day, it's all about how do you start from zero, keep on practicing, and every day get better at whatever you're doing. Like that's all it is, right? I don't think that uh, you need to uh, actually uh, have. D- don't think that you need to have like experience. I don't know. That's all I, the main thing I want to say. Farza, we can't post links. Of course not. It's Twitch chat. People are going to be posting like random links to like terrible things in Twitch chat. Uh, you can post it in Discord though, in the alumni cave, alumni chat, personal projects chat. There's a lot of places. But yeah, that's kind of one thing I want to mention here, starting from zero. How do you know you have enough skills to build something? What if while creating, you don't have the necessary fun- necessary fundamentals you thought you did? This is always going to happen. You will always never, you will never be good enough. I promise. Never in your entire life will you actually be good enough and will you have the necessary fundamentals to build whatever you, because the thing is like, as you're creating things, you're always pushing it forward, right? So it's always getting bigger and better. So you're always behind technically. So never in your entire life will you actually, um, will you actually be ready. So that's starting from zero. And of course, all most of you are here today are starting from zero in Web3 land. This is really good. For a lot of you, I know a lot of people in this chat, press one if you're like, you call yourself a brand new builder. Like you don't really, like you know, you never really built things before. And press two if you've built things before, like you've built projects, you've built uh, companies, I don't know, side things. I want to I wanna kind of know. Um, but we probably have a pretty diverse group here, right? A lot of people here are probably starting from nothing, where they've never built anything before. Um, and that's totally fine. So you're starting from zero in Web3 land. And maybe you've, you've built things in the past, you know, you started companies, you've started projects, um, but you don't know shit about Web3. Fantastic. Like, everybody here is the same in the sense that they're starting from zero. Does that make sense? Even if I had Elon Musk at BuildSpace today and he didn't know shit about Web3, you and Elon Musk would be the same because you guys are both starting from zero. But Elon Musk, you know, he's pretty good at starting from zero, right? Um, So naturally, he may move faster than you. But the guy isn't smarter than you. He isn't better than you in any way. He's just really good at starting from zero. Elon thinks Web3 is BS. Great. I just used him as an example. Replace Elon Musk with anybody else. Throw Steve Jobs in there or something. I don't know. Whoever Whoever you think is good. All right. The next thing, shipping. So we talk a lot about here, I talked a lot about starting from zero, by the way. Right? So I talked a lot about starting from zero, but what does it mean to actually go past zero? Like, what does it mean to go from zero to something? Well, it means that you're shipping. And we use this word a lot in industry, at build space, in general. And we talk a lot about shipping. Shipping, by the way, I see people talking about like Web3, is Web3 BS or not? It's, it's not worth your time, guys. Just like, it's not worth talking about this. <laughs> just, just, just go, just keep making stuff. Who knows if it's bullshit or not? Nobody knows. It's so, it's, it's it, 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 in, in 10 years, it, it may turn out, man, this is all a sham, right? But in 10 years, it may turn out to be like, whoa, this was fucking amazing. This is, this, we were onto something, you know? Yeah, see, people are, people are saying shit like metaverse may be BS in the chat. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, what's the only thing that's going to help us figure out if something's BS is if you, actually, if you yourself actually go and create something. Um, talking about it in Twitch chat doesn't mean it's actually BS. By the way, so shipping. So let's say you're shipping. Shipping means that you're actually getting stuff to people. So I know a lot of people at BuildSpace or just in general are good at making stuff. Like, they'll go and make a website, but then they'll make this website and then... And then they'll know, they won't give it to anybody, right? They don't just sit in their portfolio. It has like zero people using it. Like it's not that interesting, right? Even if you made a website and you had like five people using it, like a month, right? That's impressive, right? If you even have five people using your website per month or your product or your thing just for fun and then they left, that's fucking cool, right? You're already better than like a majority of builders in that sense. Because most people who create stuff just like create something and then leave. Um, so uh, so I think that, uh, what do you call it? You need to actually uh, actually get your thing to people. 
And honestly, your feedback buddies, your first feedback buddies are sitting right here. In this case, I said sitting because, you know, this was an IRL talk. But in this case, technically, your, your buddies are sitting to the left and right of you right here um, in Twitch chat, in Discord. Uh, feel free to reach out to them. Feel free to, like, get them to check out the things that you build and get them to use the things that – get them to use your build space project, you know? Uh, there is no excuse to create something and then get nobody to use it. Um, unless you truly were just doing it for fun. But yeah, that's shipping. I know people use the word shipping on Twitter and shipping in the in startup world, in the startup scene a lot. So I thought I'd just kind of define it here. Shipping means you got people to check your stuff out. <laughs> Is your health good? Yeah, I was pretty sick the last four days, but I'm good now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think I'm almost done here. I got like three more. I got like three more points here. I promise I won't take too much longer. I want to go to three more points here that I think are really important. The three points that I wish I knew, um, you know, even like when I was, even like ten years ago, even like five, even like two years ago. I wish I, I wish I could see this talk honestly and tell myself this stuff. Um, but don't overcomplicate it. Um, real quick uh, story. Uh, I had, I was working on this app with my friend. It was called Noni. It was an augmented reality menu app. So you could take your phone, point your phone at a table, and then in augmented reality, the food would show up as a 3D model. It was like a very realistic 3D model of that restaurant's food. We thought this idea would be fucking huge, right? And we spent a whole year like actually working on it. We spent a whole year perfecting the, the AR, perfecting the 3D models, doing all this stuff. And then finally, we went to actually give restaurants our app and take a wild guess what happened. No one gave a shit. No one cared. Everybody was like, why would I want my food in augmented reality? Why would a customer want to see their food in augmented reality? The pictures are fine, you know? And we were just like, are you, we got, can, can anybody take a wild guess how much MRR we got? It wasn't zero by the way, but can anyone take a wild guess how much MRR we got to, which is monthly recurring revenue? Take a, take a guess. But yeah, we spent a year. Can you imagine a year of our lives? One whole year. And we got to $10 in monthly recurring revenue. It was crazy. $10. Um, and uh, I guess this is all to say we overcomplicated it a lot. Um, so, so, yeah. Don't overcomplicate it. Just get your thing out there. Get people using it. Start learning. Don't get in your own head. You know, I'm a pretty, uh, you know, I, I'm a, I wouldn't call myself an emotional guy, but I do get in my own head. I get pretty sad. I'm like, I, cause you know, to me, like I love creating things. So sometimes I feel like the thing I'm making is not good enough and, uh, I'll get sad. Right. I'll be like, Oh, I, I, I suck at this. I'm not good enough at this. Right. And my number one advice here is, uh, don't let your emotions take a hold of you like this. Okay. Um, the, this line here is like super, the only way you can lose is if you lose to yourself, truly. Um, so don't overcomplicate it. Don't get in your own head. The moment you have these thoughts like, ah, oh, I can't do it, or oh, I'm not good enough, or oh, I'm not, I'm too much of a beginner. Um, oh, I don't have the fundamentals, uh, blah, 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 blah. Just like, uh, just, 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 just lose those thoughts, you know, like um, don't, don't have those, don't, don't let those thoughts like poison your mind necessarily. Yeah, you need to become a Zen master. And last but not least, one of the most, the, one of the most, the most difficult thing of, of all is to stay consistent. Today, you're at Build Space and you're working on a project this weekend. And I want you to know that you're going to make something sick this weekend and you're going to get the fuck off localhost. You know, you're, you're going to GTFOL. But don't stop. I think that the hardest part about being a builder is staying consistent. Like consistently putting stuff out there, consistently launching, consistently iterating, you know? Um, and I think that this is super difficult, but I think once you get it, it's kind of magical. You, you kind of gain to a routine and it feels really, really good. Um, it's kind of like if you're a musician, some musicians are, a, a lot of musicians have like a very, very like clear cut routine where they go to the studio like Monday through Saturday, like nine to nine or something, right? Um, uh, or you have a filmmaker, or you have a software engineer, or you have a founder. All these people I consider builders, and they're all very consistent, you know? 
Um, very rarely do you have the types of people that are just like, they go in, they make magic and they come out and they come back after a month, you know, very few times. Most, I would say 99% of people I've seen have to stay consistent in order to perfect their craft. So keep on, uh, keep on shipping, basically stay consistent. And, uh, last but not least, I want you all to know, you know, we had people earlier, I asked them if they were founders or if they were like new to web three or whatever. Um, I want you all to know that you all are the same. Um, all of you are here because you want to build something interesting for the world. Um, or maybe you just want to get into Web3. I don't really know. But at the, at, the, at the core of it, I think most of you are here because you want to build something interesting. Um, maybe for now yourself, but maybe for the world in the future, right? And um, I, I wrote here that Billie Eilish likes building music. Elon likes building cars. Jobs like building computers. Uh, technically, everybody, all these people were the same, right? All these people are the same. And you're the same as these people because these people are builders. You're a builder. You're the same. There's no, there's no difference, right? And that's it. That's my talk. Now what? Say what's up on Twitter. First of all, GTFOL in the chat. That's the most important thing. It's just Let's just ban that. Um, but... Uh, Let's just start with this. Let's just, if, if, you, if, if, if everyone could just spam GTFO in the chat, that'd be great. Because I think that's the main that's the main takeaway of this talk, by the way. That's the main action item to to actually get get, get off localhost. <laughs> Heck yeah, you love to see it. GTFO, yes. All right. I'm now going to just answer questions. And by the way, if you want to tweet something, I love tweets like this where it's like, today I will GTFOL, and then maybe throw your own spice in there, like an emoji or something. That'd be fun. I, my favorite emoji is... Uh, emojis. My favorite emoji... Does, there, does anybody have a favorite emoji? Like, Just throw some in the chat, and then we can all tweet the same thing. That'd be really funny. Throw your favorite emoji in the chat. Ooh, the rocket emoji is not bad. I like the rocket emoji. It's pretty basic. What's a little bit more spicier than the... Oh, the devil emoji is fire. The angry horn guy. That, that's smiling. It's so devious. Oh, this one's fire. <laughs> this shit's so funny. <laughs> okay, everybody tweet this. <laughs> All right, let's answer some questions. I connected my Discord to Solana NFT project but didn't find the rooms. Um, can you at the build space engineers? Can you maybe reconnect your discord? Not sure. I'll test it out though, but please uh, at the build space engineers. It's a role in the discord. What's the five year plan for build space? Well, we hope to build, we, we hope to be the kind of best place in the world for people to learn web three. Like we, I essentially want to build a place where people can major in web three. Like today at build space, you can do some small things, right? Like this. But I want to kind of put this all together into the Web3 major. And what is it? What is a university for builders look like? Like Stanford is different from what I want to make. I want to create a university for builders versus just a place where people like take random ass classes all day and do nothing. Um, so what does a university for builders look like? What does it mean to major in Web3? And then I'd love to expand to other, other majors. I want to do like a climate engineering, genetic engineering, um, animation, all sorts of stuff. So really the long-term goal is for build space to become almost like a university. Almost like the university that I wish I had, honestly. And I know that's very vague, but we're, we're still like a pretty early company, I'd say, but at the very, at the very uh, core, we're a university. And we're always gonna be free, by the way. So my hope is to never have to charge people um, ever. Um, that's my goal. I hope to never, I hope I can figure it out. And already we're, we're actually already profitable today. Or rather we, we're, I, don't think, I don't think we're profitable today, but we make solid revenue today uh, from sponsors who sponsor these projects. Why limit build space to Web3? Focus is key at startups. And I really want to focus uh, on, uh, and I really want to focus on, on just one thing at a time. 
But we'll we'll expand soon. We'll expand soon. One day. Why did you choose a unicorn logo? So when I started when we started Build Space, uh, Alec, who's one of our engineers, looked at me and said, "Hey Farza, what's our logo?" And uh, I pulled up my my iPhone and I, and I looked at my most used emoji and it was the unicorn emoji. That's it. <laughs> We actually need to change it now because that's actually illegal. Like, Apple can sue us. <laughs> Do you know what a 42 school is? Yeah, I know about all these, all these schools. Um, they're cool, I guess. I think the problem with all these people building university is that, I don't know, I have a very, very different idea about what a university looks like. Like, a university is more than just the curriculum, right? Like... If BuildSpace was just high-quality Web3 content, nobody would give a fuck, I think. But BuildSpace is cool because you can talk with other people. You can get access to special, like, opportunities. You can kind of work your way up. It's kind of cool. But, yeah, I'm familiar with 42 School. They're cool. They're cool. They're cool. Questions. Any of the questions that we got here? I'll probably stay online for, like, another 10 minutes. By the way, if you all are ready to go and you've had enough of me, please leave and go and uh, start working on your projects. Um, yeah, please. But I'll also I also will just hang out for like another ten minutes for people who want to who want to have me uh, who want to answer any who want me to answer any questions. Is there any job setup slash assistance after build space nights and weekends? No, we don't really believe in helping people get jobs. But what we do believe in is giving people access to opportunities. So I think smart people will generally be able to get jobs easily. Um, I don't think that we need to help people get jobs. But I do think we need to assist them in like finding the roles and opportunities and making these partnerships. So yeah, technically, if you if you kill it at Build Space, I've had, we've had we've had so many people get jobs through Build Space. It's crazy. But not a single person did we help get hired get hired like directly. Did you have any mentors as a kid? Um, no, not really. I kind of just, I was kind of pretty solo my whole life. Um, I didn't have any mentors. I have mentors now. I, actually, even today, I don't really have any mentors, I'd say. I have some friends that I respect a lot that I talk to. But as a kid, I kind of just was lost in my own world, making stuff. Can you check my question in the general channel? If it's a technical question, please at the Build Space Teaching Assistance. So it's pretty easy. You're going to go here and you're going to say at Bill Space Teaching Assistant. And you can hit them up. They'll be there for you. I'm not sure if anybody's awake right now. I think Ando's awake, but they'll try their best. Can you intern for Bill Space? Uh, no. I don't really believe in internships. Is there a recommended order of projects? Uh, there kind of is. Uh, I like. Honestly, I like the order that's here, <laughs> like left to right. I like I like this order a lot. I think it's pretty good. Is this recorded? I just got in a car accident. Oh my god! I hope you're okay. But yes, this is recorded. <laughs> I'm guessing you're okay because you're chatting. But I, I hope everything's fine. <laughs> oh shit, man! Can Internet of Things be linked to Web three? Uh, sure. I don't know. <laughs> How did you deal with the lack of money when your product didn't get any revenue? So technically, everything... Um, it's a tough question. I always believe in revenue early. So like, I never got to the point where we didn't have revenue. So I would really, really optimize for revenue pretty much is what I'm trying to tell you. Like I would pick... If you have no money, I would pick ideas that optimize for revenue just to at least get some money. Because the worst thing is where you have to worry about what you're going to eat for dinner instead of building your company. Cheers, mate. Thanks to the awesome platform. I'm going to build stuff. All right, Rick. See ya. What does it take to be a TA at BuildSpace? Um, honestly, nothing. No, no, that's not true. It takes a lot. Um, we have so many people applying to be TAs now. The best thing you can do is actually uh, ping this guy, Ando, and send him a message. Um, and just be like, yo, I want, to, I want to be a Build Space TA. And then tell him about all the things that you've built. Because our, 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 I think all of our TAs are like, I would call them 
expert builders or not expert but at least like pretty advanced builders so that's the main thing see you man have a nice day yeah see see a, see a yo, yo man x do you believe in number of hours one should code per day the fuck no code 10 minutes for all i care <laughs> or code 20 hours i don't care whatever works for you man um thoughts on jack's web 5 move I didn't really look at it yet, to be honest. Should you have a strong foundation in JS and React to start? Um, that's a good question. I think that having a good foundation in JavaScript is a good idea. Just in general. In general, JavaScript is like the best language, I think, right now for creating things and building things. Um, I would have a strong foundation. Not a strong foundation, but I just... I would have a general plan for JavaScript. I would have a general idea about how JavaScript works. I like, I like, I like to recommend Scrimba a lot. They have this JavaScript thing. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty freaking good. I usually recommend this for people who are brand new to coding or JavaScript. But I, w- I would. I would do this first before build space. If you don't know how to code, um, build space is bad. Like we don't teach you how to code here. There's many other places to, for you to, for you to learn how to code. Future plans for build space? World domination, baby. Hey, why is Gohan trending? What's going on here? You guys see that? Gohan is trending. What's going on? Oh my god, is this a spoiler? Never mind, never mind. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> what is your view on building on Ethereum versus other chains? Build on whatever chain looks cool to you and make your decision in five minutes. <laughs> and then just try, honestly, try all of them. And naturally, you'll figure out the ones that you like. Does your team practice Scrum or Agile? No. That's cringe. That's actually not cringe, but we just we just don't. <laughs> Can you change your username on Twitch? Am I Twitch support? I don't I don't know. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, see ya Shub Shub XMS. Alright, let's do two more questions and we'll call it a day. How's that? Maybe three more questions. Three more questions we'll call it a day. Feel free to ask me anything about my own personal life, about Web3, about building things. I'm, I'm here. Three questions. No more than that. No less. Also, look, I'm, I'm, this is crazy. I'm bolding so bad. You, you'll see this? Fuck. That's what happens when you stress too much when you're 15. Fuck, dude. I need to get some, I need to get some hair transplants. <laughs> What's that picture of Elon? Uh, Elon, no hair. Oh God, this is gonna this is gonna be this is gonna be this is gonna be all of you, very soon. <laughs> oh man, what else do you do apart from build space? Um, I hang out with my friends and I watch movies. I go to concerts. I do a lot of things, but build space is the main thing I'm working on. I'd say, is the number one thing. It takes up almost all my time, but I do a lot of other things for fun. Yeah. Does Solana have their own language? It's called Rust. It's not their language. What projects are you building besides BuildSpace? Just BuildSpace right now. Um, I do a lot of random hacking shit on the side. So sometimes on certain weekends, I'll build something random. Um, like, I don't, know, I don't know if you all saw this thing, but I built this thing a little while back. It's like a, it's like a hat that uh, spins the harder, I think. It's kind of funny. So I don't know. I build random shit like that. That's where I get most of my happiness from. But build space is like the main thing I'm working on. That's I would say meaningful long term. Have you ever worked for a company as a blockchain developer? No, I've actually ever ever barely worked for a company to be honest. I'm still seeing as cute guy, with all due respect. I don't understand. Any thoughts on Web five? No idea. I haven't looked at it yet. I'll probably look at it Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> a ordinary player. Appreciate you, dude. Sorry, I keep saying dude. I'm my bad, everybody. I have such bro language. I'm sorry. I-, I come from the gaming world. And in the gaming world, everybody says bro, dude, yo. So my bad. I got to I gotta be a little bit more. I got to be a little bit more, you know. What's, the, what's that word? Open. They, them type stuff. I think it's good. Dude is genderless? I don't think it is. I just think it's better to just, I don't know. 
I don't know. It's because you said you're getting bald? Yeah. Fuck. What is a safe bet in the crypto space as a builder? Security audit something else? I don't think, I don't think there is a safe bet, to be honest. Um, I think that uh, you just want to be... I think that your goal... It's a really good question, to be honest. The question is, what, sh- what kind of builder in crypto should I be? Like, where should I commit to? And I think it's a solid question. Like, do you want to be a Solidity person? Do you want to be a front-end person? Like, that's a good question. I think the answer to this question, my answer would be, me personally, just be a general good builder. Because I think there's a difference between someone who is really good at doing security audits and someone who is a really, really good Solidity programmer and someone who's, like, generally just a fantastic builder. I think the fantastic builder is really good at identifying problems, coming up with the solution, and then also building the solution. Whereas a fantastic programmer may only be good at executing on the solution, right? Not every fantastic programmer is good at coming up with ideas or coming up with solutions. So I would just really aim to be a great builder. And being a great builder means that you can identify problems, come up with unique solutions, unique ideas, and then actually execute on them. It's like the all three things. And as long as you, you're good at that, you, I think, can do anything, to be honest. Look at this. I forgot I had this view. I'm so dumb. This is so much nicer and cleaner, by the way, right? Does BuildSpace work with BitSpot? Don't know what it is. Yeah, a lot of people get scammed at BuildSpace, by the way. Like, we have a lot of crypto scammers in our server. It's hard to deal with. I, I can't. If you're in Discord, by the way, please disable your DMs. <laughs> if you haven't realized already, you have to disable your DMs. Where can I find the recording of this course? Yo, got yo. This is not a course. Anybody in the chat know what this is? It's not, you can't use the c word here, man. <laughs> you can't use the c word. It's a project. <laughs> yeah, but you can find the recording on Twitch. Uh, after the stream is over, you can actually uh, um, uh, see the recordings on Twitch. Yeah, if you want to take a course, by the way, I know some great course websites. If you want to take a course, um, what you should do is you should go to uh, udemy.com uh, and then type in Web3 and then take one of these if you want to take a course. This looks like a good course. This looks like a good course. But if you want to build things, if you want to create things, then you can come to build space and, t- and take a project and build something. But you know, if you want a course, I can I can point to many courses. <laughs> Still can't join the Discord channel. It says I need permission to join the channel. Tried joining from here, and it says invalid invite. Um, one moment, please, as I look up your order. That's weird. Does it work right here? Discord.gg slash buildspace. Yo, you're lying. That works fine. Discord.gg slash buildspace. Try it out. As a founder, when do you focus on the business plan? Uh, Day one. (laughs) Day one. I wouldn't focus on the business plan, but I'd always have a business plan. Like, always. Like, day one, you should have a plan. That's my opinion, though. Like, you know, it doesn't need to be well thought out. It could just be like, I think I'm going to do ads or I think I'm going to charge monthly, but I'd have some semblance of business plan. How does BuildSpace sustain itself? Um, we have different companies that sponsor us. Are you bullish on step N to grow consumer apps or the step N mechanism? Uh, no opinion right now, to be honest with you. No opinion right now. How much, how much time has it been? Oh, shit. I was supposed to stop two minutes ago. Let's do two more questions, everyone. Two more questions, and we'll call it a day. You all can go back to... You all can go build stuff, and we're done. Seriously, two more. My throat's hurting now. Sponge. What's going on? What is your take on Luna? Bad question. Next question. Please, a question about building things. 
a question about actually building something, please. Luna 2.0? Yeah, Luna 2.0 seems cool. Did you attend graph day? Nope, I don't really go to events. Should you quit your full-time job to build? Um, should you quit your full-time job to build? Build what? Ideally, you're building something. If you're building a company or something, then yeah. Try, yeah, for sure, if you have the money. Should I take the Terra course on build space? Uh, no, don't take it right now. I think Terra is still a little bit messed up. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I haven't checked. I would ask the TAs. How do you deal with burnout? Lots of meditation. Seriously, this is a book that I bought a long time ago now. I read it many years ago. Um, the beginner's mind. Um, this is like a great intro to just like Zen Buddhism and meditation in general. I think meditation is pretty cringe, by the way, but I still do it every day. Um, let me share my screen. Uh, but this book's really, really good. Should I get paid in fiat if the taxation laws in my country isn't clear? Do I look like a fucking accountant? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, if if non EVM chain is getting EVM compatible, does it make does it make sense to learn Rust in the long term? I don't. I don't know. Just go learn Rust. If you think Rust is cool, just go learn Rust. Why do Why does everybody have so much like? I think so much about this stuff. If you need to go build something and it requires Rust, go learn Rust. If you need to build something and it doesn't require Rust, then don't learn Rust. <laughs> you know, it's pretty simple. <laughs> How do you evaluate a co-founder? If you like them. Seriously, it's that easy. Do you like them? Yes, no, maybe so. Win Web5 in build space? Oh my god, I don't even know what Web5 is, guy. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> is this the new hotness? What's going on here? Jack Dorsey is building Web5 powered by Bitcoin. Is it live yet? I don't think it's live yet. It's not live. Oh, maybe? It's not live yet. It's still, they're still on localhost. Even Jack is still on localhost, guys. Literally still on localhost. You know what you can do right now, though? You can get off localhost. What what docs are awesome? I don't see anything here. I don't understand what you're even saying. Is docs here? I don't. I can't. Can can, can, I, can I use this right now? I don't think I can use this right now, right? I'm, I'm not trying to shit on Web Five. I just, can I use this? <laughs> I can't tell. Where? See, you know the difference here. All right, what is this? Can I use this? I don't understand if I can use this or not. I don't know. I'll check it out later. It's just a proposal? Fucking whack, bro. Come back to me when Web5 is in production so I can use it. You know, you know what's beautiful is I can go to Stripe. And I can literally use their thing right now, right? It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> it turns out it's all just right here. It's live. It's live code. <laughs> So when Jack gets off localhost, please let me know. But it seems cool, though. I'll check this out. It seems like this has potential. I mean, honestly, I, I, I like Jack Dorsey, so I'll, I'll be following. Web3 hackathons worth attending? Uh, I don't really go to online hackathons. For hackathons, by the way, if you can ever find an in-real-life hackathon, definitely go. Snoop Dogg is on Web6. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. That's awesome for Snoop Dogg. I'll care once he's off localhost. Is he off localhost? Everybody, is Snoop Dogg off localhost? I'm gonna look this up. But if he's not off localhost, I'm gonna get pissed. He better be. He better have a link there to his, his product or something. Working on Web Six, literally still on localhost. Why do I care? I don't care. I don't care. He's not even off localhost. Both Jack and Snoop Dogg still on localhost. All right, everybody. I've ha had a great time here. <laughs> I had a great time here with you all talking about getting off localhost. Um, hopefully, everybody is um, um, feeling good. Feeling good today. Hopefully, this was fun. Uh, and yeah, I'm glad I got to 
shoot the shit with you all and uh, talk about building, talk about like build space. I think, uh, I think that, I don't know, I think you're in a great spot. I think you're in a fantastic spot and you should, uh, I hope you, have, I hope you have a great weekend full of building, full of creating. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you all. Have a great day. I respect everybody here. Thank you all for uh, being part of the cause, for actually spending time learning new things, for actually trying to push the word forward. You all are awesome. And with that, I'll see you all soon. But thank you all so much for being here. Thank you. Bye-bye.